Austria. Very random indeed. And it's better known for the likes of classical music, Wiener Schnitzel, and home to the likes of Mozart and Beethoven, but not necessarily fast cars. We're about to link up with Turbo Elite to see some crazy cars. And when he says crazy, he is not lying. Follow us on this mini series here in Austria with Turbo Elite. Let's get it. Let's go. For the best in universal, premium, ester-containing engine oils and fuel additives for both petrol and diesel engines, check the links in the description. Klaus, welcome back to the channel, brother. Hello, hi. <laughs> Bro, now we have a very special car here today. It's, so it's a Porsche, brother. I know, I know you're a Porsche man. And myself too, brother. Yeah. And I think as far as the 911 Turbo goes, this one right here is at the pinnacle for many reasons, but most importantly, the last ever air-cooled one, yes, right? that's right. And um, this one has just got a stupid amount of power and modifications. Yes, the modifications are really, really sick, really sick. Yeah, it's, yeah. it's all in with this car. The basic model was a 993 Turbo, you yeah. know, uh, with all wheel drives. So uh, the car is modified, it's only rear wheel drive uh, still okay. left. Okay. So yeah, it's like the GT2. Okay. So that's why I also the GT2 spoiler at the, at the, the back. Bi the biggest wing the I've biggest ever seen. Wing, the <laughs> biggest wing. But you know, you have to know it's not the, the street legal version. Sure. For sure. Uh, to be honest, it's uh, the race car version. Got you. Got you. But uh, it's original Porsche. Okay. Uh, origin, original Porsche part and it makes the car even, even special. We know two engines like this built in, in Europe. Okay. The, it's very special because the engine is a 4.0 uh, liter. Got you. And the crankshaft is uh, from the 997. Uh, GT3 RS model. Interesting. And so the complete uh, engine has to be modified to make it fit. The owner told me he did, uh, he did the engine. He told me it was a work about six months only for the engine. Wow. And yeah, it works perfectly. It works perfectly. Really, yeah. And how much power is this car now producing? Uh, we stopped. We stopped it because uh, there are two reasons uh, why we stopped at the dyno. Uh, the first reason is the clutch. Okay. He likes to drive the cars every Sunday in the morning uh, on, the, on the streets in Germany. And so it's for, uh, for him very important to, to have a, a smooth drive. Yeah. He likes to drive normal, but on the motorway, full power <laughs> has, to be, uh, has to be right here. And so that's why we built the engines uh, this way. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and so we stopped at the power of 940 horsepower. The boost is, the, the, is really interesting, only 1.65. 1.65? Yes. And do you know what turbos we're running on this? Of course. The engine was made by the owner. The rest is um, now, after nearly more than a year, made by us. Okay. So special manifolds. Uh, and the turbos are made from uh, TTH in, in, in Hamburg, Germany. The base model was from a 996. Okay. 993 or 996, I'm not sure. Mm -hmm. The turbos are made for maximum about 1,200. Ah, oh, okay. Yeah. So this has still got room left in it. Of Should course, of course. Only 1.6 above boost. That is insane. There's of course, but I said, first of all, the gearbox. Yes. Nobody knows where, where's the limit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And but it's, it's still stock then? Yeah. Wow, okay, okay. Porsche parts. Okay, yeah, Porsche, Porsche engineering, parts. baby. Porsche. Yeah, <laughs> of course. And so we stopped. The, okay. the customer told me, Frank uh, is a really nice guy. Yep. Uh, he told me 900 is the goal. Yep. The car had before uh, big problems with the electric. So that's why the car is here. Sure. We made completely new electric, completely new uh, motor man management. Again, our uh, special version 
of our uh, two-wheel-liter motor management. Epic. We changed a lot of parts. The car, uh, the car is now drive by wire. Look so you this. see, only the only thing you see is intercooler. I know, it's hiding all the goodness, basic, right? Uh, basic model from the uh, 997 uh, GT2 RS, Okay. but three times. Oh, is that what it is? So it's three times bigger three. than the GT2 RS? This is one from the GT2 RS, two and three. And what's interesting, you told me off camera, is the GT2 RS in the 993 never hit the road. It was always no, a race car yeah, version, and right? This, and this intercooler is from the 997 ah, GT2 RS. Okay, got This you. is the street version, okay. but the street version only used two. Okay. Here are three. And being air-cooled, how... Yeah. In fact, we were speaking off camera, and because it's air-cooled, you implemented ethanol injection? Does yes. that help with the yes. cooling or something? Yeah, there's a separate eth ethanol injection here ah. for the temperature, for the intake temperature. And I don't want people to think we're saying methanol injection here. We are no, saying ethanol, ethanol injection. Ethanol, yes, ethanol. Interesting. It was uh, already the plan from the owner, and we took it and said, okay, let's try it. Yep. We changed the, the position. You see the old version, here the new version. Ah, okay, okay. Because okay. we had little issues with the intake uh, temperature at the, at the first dyno runs. Okay. So I said, I'm not sure about the position of them. So we changed it. Oh, man. And now it's the, the car runs, runs perfect. perfect. Uh, intake temperature 1.65 bar boost. I think about 83 okay. on the dyno. Okay. On the dyno, on the and you know Porsche on the dyno is a difficult. For sure, for sure. It's a difficult cool, yeah, because yeah. the engine's in the back yeah. and it's all hidden. Yeah, and we call we are the motor management. We uh, turbo liter motor management use a uh, full body of the R32. Okay. So we have a lot of uh, functions extra, w which would be not possible with the original uh, Porsche parts. Sure, sure. Yeah. Bro, this is a crazy build, and I mean, you were actually saying off camera. Power-wise, it's so crazy. With all that power going to the rear wheels, first and second gear is like not even worth um, <laughs> trying. Yeah. It's, it's, it's fun. It's fun. It's not fast, but it's fun. Okay, okay. But you have to 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 be uh, very focused. Yes. And, and you you need you need to know the car for sure, especially when the tires are cold. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like hmm? driving on ice. Yes. <laughs> Oh, mate, this is crazy. And if we just open the door here, I see you've yeah. got the uh, CA. It's a beautiful place to be in here, too. You've got the Recaro pole positions, would yes. I be right yes. in saying? Original Porsche with original Porsche leather. Okay, yes. okay. CAE shifter there. So you've got yep. the kind of the nice mechanical feel there, but yep. your very precise gear changes. Yep. It's just a lovely place to be. Yep. Of course. It is a 993. Your 993. It's, it's a special car. It's the one. It's it's it is the one. Yeah. Mad. And sunroof. Is that an option? Yeah. Is that a spec option? Yeah. Did it come? Uh, the, the basic model was like this. Okay. okay. He changed ne nearly everything. Suspension, Bilstein, uh, of course, original BBS, magnesium wheels. Check it out. Bigger brakes from the 997. Okay. The car is completely built. Completely. Mate. This is great. You have to know, the owner uh, uh, bought the car in, I think, 2007. Oh, wow. So it's a long bit. A long process. And he, he had big problems with the electric. And that's why the car came here to us. And then we changed some parts of the engine. Yep. And so we keep on going and now we are nearly done. Oh mate, this is crazy. So I guess after hearing about how crazy this car is and all the specs, there's only one thing left to do. We have to drive it. We have to drive it. I brother. think the weather will be perfect. Yep. Not too hot. So let's go and drive it. <laughs> Amazing car. It is a 993, but it's not just any 993. It's a Turbo S with a four liter engine, GT two bits all over it. Looks like, yeah. Crazy power. This is gonna be unreal. It's my first time ever sitting in one of these and just to be around it and hear the noise of it, the revs, the turbos, that bro. We don't even have to drive anywhere and I'm already like, yeah. It's but already nice. It's already very nice, but we gotta drive. We got you drive. know, we gotta okay, show the people what's ready? going on. Let's, let's, let's hit the go. road, bro. So Klaus, this car just has one map, I'd assume, all the power. There are two maps, but we are already in the big map, uh, map because of the exhaust valves. So this is still valved, but I, I don't know if I showed the people at home, but basically the, the exhaust that comes off the turbo is like that yeah, long. Yeah. There is nothing, guys. It's literally, once he opens that valve, you can look through the exhaust and see the big turbine wheel yeah. right in front of your face, or the exhaust wheel, yeah. should I say. It is literally right there. Turbo 
as quick. This is that quick. Fast gear. So we are back now from our drive. Honestly, what a what an experience! F like, thank you so much. No thank problem. You so much. Pleasure. It's uh, it, we, we've went out in some crazy cars here in Austria, and this one is just so different from the rest. But I know you're a Porsche guy. I'm a Porsche guy, and to be in this kind of a icon of a car yep. like this, it's it, it's an amazing experience. Yep. Though it's it's, it's, it's really crazy. a lot of fun. Yeah. So a massive shout out to Turbo Elite, and of course the the owner for letting us go out yep. for for a ride. Frank. If you have enjoyed today, make sure you check the links down below in the description if you want to find out a little bit more about Turbo Elite. They can find you there. Awesome. I'll leave links to the company. And um, yeah, we've got a few other cool videos coming. This is not the end. If you want me to come out to your workshop, wherever it may be in the world, if you've got cool cars there, like Turbo Elite, I will be there. I will take an aeroplane and I will be there. So hit me up on Instagram. And uh, yeah, if you want to see some more cool stuff, just hit subscribe and uh, we will catch you on the next one. Peace out.